Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on how to replace the headlights on a uh, 1990 Ford Ranger and I think the uh, 89, 90 and 91 are the same. As you can see, the headlights have gotten fogged up bad enough to where trying to clean them isn't going to do any good. And the other thing is that uh, they're leaking water. And these have the halogen bulbs in them. They are not cheap bulbs. Uh, I've drilled drain holes in it, but the water still drips on the bulbs, so it's blowing out bulbs. And uh, with this much fogging going on, uh, at nighttime, if you turn the lights on, it actually gets darker. So <laughs> they need to go. Uh, these are fairly involved, uh, putting this whole assembly in there. Actually, it's like this. Uh, the grill will have to come out, and I'll try to do this in sections to uh, uh, let you see uh, how this job is done. Now, uh, I'm not going to film the whole thing during the whole time because I'll be getting tools and running around and taking breaks. Also, the fan is going to be running. Joey, be quiet. I'm talking. Oh, good. The, the fan and the dog will be running and uh, making a lot of noise in the background. So I will try to talk up, speak up, uh, but the fan has to be on. The dog doesn't, but the fan does. And, uh, uh, you know, we've got 104 heat index right now, which means that, yeah, I'm uh, not so concerned about the video coming out great, but the fan does have to run. So I'm going to get going on this. I'm going to get my tools out and ready. Um, I'm going to start taking things apart and I'll turn the camera back on as I go along. So I hope this helps somebody and have fun laughing at my German Shepherd legs. But it's cool. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you got to remove the grill and you're going to have to take these uh, plastic rivet uh, things out. They, they unscrew. And most of the time they're going to be stripped out, so sometimes you're going to have to get a little screwdriver under there. Or I've got a, uh, a trim tool here that I use for that, or if I have to, but you got to get them up a little bit. Uh, so a light touch with a screwdriver, and they usually back off pretty good. Uh, sometimes you can pull them out all in one piece. Uh, other times you got to get in there and just uh, you can use a flat screwdriver wherever you've left one in. Uh, and take them out wherever they got stuck in there. Get them all out. And there's the uh, upper cowl piece. So now I'm going to move to the, uh, to the grill. Okay, so now we've got our grill off. And it's simple. It has two screws up top, right there and there. And then it's got the uh, plastic rivet things, just like on the uh, cover up top here. Right here, and right here. And then these snap into place. So you gotta give it a little yank, and it'll pop right out of there. And now we remove the trim on the uh, headlight itself. And as you can see, we're getting right close to the bucket. So, okay, I've got the one side out, and uh, real quick here, when you're taking the, uh, <coughs> the bezel out, uh, you can reach in from behind and try to undo the, uh, the bulbs. The one on the side is a real pain to get at from inside, uh, especially on the battery side. Uh, you can pull these out a little bit and then undo them. Same thing when you're putting them back in. Now, the uh, headlight housing, it's four bolts that hold it on, two here and here, two here and here. Uh, good idea to uh, spray them with a little penetrating oil, especially on a vehicle this old. And uh, I'll go through it real quick. I've taken the top two screws off of this one here, and basically you're just pulling. Uh, Jesus, this side doesn't want to come now. <laughs> um, it's clipped in 
and yeah, getting your hand behind there is a little bit rough, but ah, there you go. Once it starts to move, you can get it off. Now the other side just popped right off. And I think what happened here is this truck's been hit in the front. And I believe that maybe that uh, portion down here is hitting it. Uh, which does look like a distinct possibility. Uh, but it should still snap off. Now you gotta be careful with this old plastic, but it will break. Uh, it wants to come. It's easy to get, but uh, again, with the body being a little blacked out, and that's what happens. These uh, clips, they get so rusty, they like to hold on to things, and I can pretty much see here the body is a little up. Uh, I'm going to hit that with a rubber hammer just to drop it down just a little bit. It's not very high up. I might loosen a bolt in there. Anyway, um, again, use a little bit of the penetrating oil on these here. Uh, the slug ones are a little harder to get at, but uh, they don't get that, uh, that crazy rounded up either. So these come off a point here too if you're doing this these halogen bulbs you do not want to touch the glass don't ever touch the glass the skin oil will cause them to burn out so uh, if you have to touch the front of one make sure you got a tissue or paper or something in your hand but you do not want to touch the glass of these so yep that's it for the buckets and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of straightening out here and uh, get that down a little bit so everything fits together really nice and that's it and I'll pick it back up again when I when I got it all together and you'll see the difference. So two things I want to add here. One, if you have compressed air, Felix, all right, inside joke, um, clean all this blow inside the lenses. Sometimes a little bit of shit gathers in there and it's nice to clean it out while you have it all apart. And the other thing is that uh, if you want to make life simple, as you're putting this bezel over the headlight, the new headlights come with good rubber seals, which the old ones of course are deteriorated to a good degree. Take some Vaseline Oops. and just liberally coat that entire ceiling area. All the way around. And that'll, that's just uh, petroleum jelly. Um, it's good to use on a lot of stuff besides getting your dick in a hole. But uh, that'll help aid slide that on. And again, with the little lights here, 
uh, if you install them, this one at least, the bot, like I said, the bottom one, the big one on here, that's easy to uh, put in there. So uh, what you want to do is, this is where the rubber gets in the way, you want to line that up and get it up in there. And this side still isn't right. Um, I still got a little bit of body in the way. And uh, I've bent the pans and I've bent that down. But uh, once you line it up with the, uh, the clips on the bottom, you just give it a little uh, push in there. Of course, it doesn't want to go. So, no big deal. Uh, in a case like this where the clips don't want to go, just take a uh, screwdriver flat screwdriver, big one, and get in between these clips and just twist them open just a little bit so that it can get under there because these things are facing down pretty good. And uh, just open them up enough, not, not too much, you want to be careful because you're trying to hold on to the bottom of this thing. And, uh, Get everything in there <laughs> in one piece. And there it is. See? Just a little bit of tweaking and <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's not pulling out. Don't forget to shove down your rubber uh, isolators for the grill. I've already tightened that up and the rest of it. By the way, I'm very impressed. These headlights I got on eBay, they came with uh, the bulbs already installed and the holders, which uh, was great because these were, I think, $57 with free shipping for the set. Uh, that's a great deal. I mean, you know, putting anything OEM or, or uh, high-end in a truck that's sold, this isn't worth it. Uh, these will outlast me at my age. So, uh, anyway. Let me continue on. Okay, we're all set again. The tray's been put up here. That is also for airflow, by the way. So you don't want to leave this off. That'll keep the air from coming up here. It'll go through the radiator and your cooling system. Um, don't forget, now I tested lights before I put everything together, but you do want to test the lights you want to make sure you got your high beam, your turn signals, and running lights, and all that. Also, don't forget that uh, you're probably going to need a headlight alignment on these. So, if you uh, if you know how to do that with a garage door, uh, it's 15 feet back. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, four foot height level, and uh, left side is down under. Right side is middle of line. Um, if memory serves me right, I used to use a machine, so uh, I haven't used the garage method in a long time. But I don't think they charge a heck of a lot to align headlights, especially on one of these. The other thing is keep the old uh, keep the old headlights and buckets and everything. Uh, there's a lot of usable parts. The alignment uh, the alignment adjuster, uh, the gear drive in there. Uh, the clip for the gear drive, uh, you've got multiple clips here that you can reuse, speed clips on top, the light uh, holder, the bulb holder, uh, you know, or you can just assemble it, not have so much around, but the uh, casing uh, actually uh, is pretty good to have around. Or, hey, you could be a feminist and wear them as problem glasses or an SJW. Uh, you know, I don't know, I guess they'd wear them like that. So, uh, hey, they have multiple uses and uh, throwing them away, if you don't have the room yet, you know, take off what you can or what you think might be helpful. Other than that, you know, if you don't have the room, toss them. Um, the headlight bucket themselves aren't any good anymore. They're too, uh, too fogged up. Uh, they're leaking water, so they're not uh, in any good shape. But that's, uh, that's it, you know, it's not a real big deal, but uh, you have to go through a certain routine and uh, know where you're going through and what you're doing. So I hope it helps somebody that's going to do these. 
Uh, they're not very expensive, and if you got them that are this bad, uh, you know, where, <laughs> you know, the, the $57 is well worth it in a little bit of your time. And that'll do it for the video. I'm going to be drinking beer now. Take care.